And, and Brian, the temptation, of course, is to say, well, uh, minority students tend to be, uh, to be poor and they tend to come from single-parent households, and so therefore this explains it. Uh, the problem with that is we see lots of examples uh, that refute that. For example, Asian kids who come from a low socioeconomic background uh, tend to perform uh, as well, if not better, than middle-class white kids. Also, uh, in Barbados, 40% uh, of the kids in, in that, uh, that island country come from single-parent households. There are no computers, no uh, high-fangled gimmicks, uh, but there's a great emphasis on accountability. The parents are actively involved in the kids' education, and they have high schools there where the average SAT score is 1,300, 300 points higher than the average SAT score uh, in this country. Uh, so much for the idea that the tests are culturally biased. Look, it can be done. Marva Collins has proved that. There are lots of other experiments going on around the country, charter schools and homeschooling, where you're taking kids uh, who have underperformed uh, in public schools like in Milwaukee and in Cleveland where they've allowed parents through the voucher system to put their kid where they want and you're seeing a vast improvement in scores. So I don't accept the idea that if you're poor, if you're minority, if you come from a single parent household, you can't learn.